Hello everyone. We will now go over 2003 USAMO problem number 5. Here is a view of this problem. A, B, C are positive in uh, real numbers. And for these numbers, we would like to prove this following inequality. And so um, you can see um, these expressions look cyclic. So therefore, you can definitely use the summation sign. But before I do that, or proceed even further, I realized that it is possible to simplify this problem significantly by just multiplying each of the terms a, b, and c by a factor um, and then uh, have their sum add up to, so the sum a, b, c add up to a certain number. So what I really mean is, so what I have is come up with new numbers a prime, b prime, c prime uh, from a, b, and c in such a way that, so find a k huh, that will give you this a prime, b prime, c prime such that a prime plus b prime plus c prime would be equal to a constant and in this case what I have in mind is in fact a um, 3 and I will explain in a while why I think that would do the trick. So, um, uh, is, so is is that possible? Yes, it is. So it is possible to find a k which will do the trick. Once this trick is done, so what we can do is, um, if we substitute, uh, in in this expression, um, for instance, if you can just go ahead and multiply, uh, both the numerator and denominator of each of these fractions by k square, and you will have your terms in this fashion. So it's definitely doable. All you do, as I said, because we have this square here in these um, expressions, all we do is we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by k square. We get these expressions and we are done. So um, in that case, so I will just go ahead and drop the prime. Um, so I, I, I really don't want to use these um, ugly notation. So I will go back to my original problem and I realize that each of my terms now will look like this. So I equivalently can represent this as a plus um, 3, obviously here, a plus 3 squared divided by 2a squared plus um, 3 minus a, I assume, 3 minus a squared plus, and the, the others are just cyclic, um, similarly, can be defined here, plus 3 minus b squared plus um, c plus 3 squared, 2c um, squared, plus 3 minus c squared, this whole thing less than or equal to 8. So what I did is I transformed the problem into something really, really much more tractable and easy to handle. Now, realizing that each of these will kind of, this looks like uh, we have a function f of x, in the form um, x plus 3 squared divided by 2x squared uh, plus uh, 3 minus x squared. And so therefore, if this is given, huh, um, then um, what, what this inequality really is telling me is that to show f of a plus f of b plus f of c is less than or equal to 8. So that's what I really want to do. So let's just first start by simplifying this expression here, manipulating it, and then see if we can find a simpler form and plug in the values and then see if we can get the bond, the upper bond that we need. So let me open a new page here. Let's just go ahead and rewrite our function. f of x is equal to um, x plus 3 squared divided by um, 2x squared plus 3 minus x squared and now let's go ahead and just expand these quadratics here so we have x squared plus 6x plus 9 2x squared plus 9 minus 6x plus x squared up to um, um yeah so um what I can do, I guess here I will have 3x squared. Let me go ahead and actually, because we have all these 3s are in common, I'll just go ahead and multiply out the 3 here. So therefore, I will have 3 times x squared um, minus 2x plus 3 here. And, and obviously now, I, 
I can further manipulate this expression. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's actually go ahead and do the long division here. Uh, in that case, what we will get is 1 plus uh, 8x plus 6 divided by x squared minus 2x plus 3. And finally, um, rewriting it in terms of a perfect square, the denominator will simply look like x minus 1 squared plus, um, plus 1 plus 2. Um, and what I claim is if we have that term removed, so this term vanishing, then it would be in that case um, that whole thing will be less. So, well, I, I obviously don't want to vanish it at this moment. So, um, so I, I gave the idea. Uh, so that thing will be less than or equal to one third, uh, one plus, well, um, yeah, it's possible to even simplify there further. Um, but let, let's do it in the next step. So 8x plus 6 over 2, I guess, huh? And then ultimately what we would have here is one third um, 4x plus 4. So now the expression of interest for us was f of a plus f of b plus f of c. That thing is one third uh, 4a plus 4, 4b plus 4, 4c plus 4. So therefore we will have 4a plus b plus c plus, uh, I guess, 12. Um, and but recall at the beginning that we just scaled our a, b, and c such that this sum would be 3. So therefore we would get 1 third. Uh, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 plus 4, 12 is 24, so wow, so that actually did the trick, so we wanted to show that this sum here is less than or equal to, a, oh, I, I, my apologies, so this was a less than or equal to expression here, because recall from here that there is a less than or equal to sign, um, so we were able to show that the left hand side is actually less than or equal to 8 as we want it so that solves out this problem and hope to see you in our next video